welcome on behalf of Nebraska Extension. This presentation provides an overview on using the feed cost calculator to accurately compare feeds and nutrients to one another. For the producer, 40 to 70 percent of his annual cow cost is comprised of feeding the cow, so this becomes a primary concern for the beef producer. The majority of feed costs originate from purchased feeds like hay. When we think about reducing feed expenses, we need to consider comparing feed on a dry matter price per unit, as well as determine the cost to acquire and deliver the feed to the cows, as well as how much feed is lost in the process of that delivery and feeding. The calculator is an Excel spreadsheet that allows you to compare feeds based on a per unit of energy and protein. We need to recognize too that transportation, storage, delivery, and waste losses um, need to factor in, so those are taken into account in the spreadsheet to better estimate the feed cost. To access the feed cost calculator, go to extension.unl.edu, scroll to the bottom of the page and you'll see the link to the feed cost calculator. Click on the link and you'll be able to download the Excel spreadsheet. When downloaded, this will be the title page that you see. Uh, the feed cost calculator was written by Matt Stockton and Roger Wilson out at the West Central Research and Extension Center in North Platte. The second tab is the Instructions tab. In the Instructions tab, you'll notice the purpose and objectives for the cow cost calculator. You'll see at the top that the purpose, um, as stated earlier, is to calculate the cost for providing selected nutrients to your cow herd. To do this, we're going to compare the effective cost for specific nutrients from different available feeds, as well as determine the total quantity and effective cost of feeds needed for a herd of cattle. You'll also notice that there's three steps at the bottom that help you to navigate through the tabs of the feed cost calculator. Next, I would like to point out the corn stalks tab. If you're grazing corn stalks, this tab is helpful to help you estimate what that cost per pound of corn stalks consumed actually is. Uh, any cells in white are going to be the cells that you are able to input your own information into. Uh, and then our colored boxes are going to be those that calculated the values based off of the information that you input, so you cannot change those. Starting at the top, we've got our corn yield. We're going to say that it's about 200 bushels per acre. Stock harvest efficiency, UNL recommends 50% removal of husk and leaf when grazing corn stalks. So we're going to utilize that 50% and put the total number of animals as well as the average animal weight. The number of days that those cows are going to spend on corn stalks. And then the number of acres rented and the cost per acre. You'll notice to the right of the acres rented, it says that the acres rented exceeds the needs. So the calculations behind it saying that the total number of head that we have with the number of days that they're spending on there and the average weight of the animal, we would need 134 acres. In our case, we have 135 rented, so we're good to go. If for some reason you don't have enough acres rented, a message will pop up that says that more acres are needed. If we keep going down, we've got the nutrition of the corn stalks at 8% crude protein and 56% TDN. We're going to say for transportation costs, we've got to take the cattle about 75 miles to the field. It's going to cost us $5 per mile, and the boy, we can put 35 animals on each load. In terms of care, it's about 60 miles to go check the cows. It's going to cost us about 45 cents per mile. It's been about 30 minutes of labor there, uh, and five visits are taken. If we put all that in, our bottom cost is going to be that cost per pound of feed consumed 
which in this case is about two cents. Next we'll take a look at the feed list which is your very last tab on the sheet. For the feed list there's an extensive uh, listing of ingredients that you can utilize in the feed tabs. If we look at the top we start out with our dry matter percentage followed by protein numbers, UIP your undegradable intake protein and then DIP degradable intake protein, NEL, net energy of lactation for your lactating cows, NEG, net energy of gain, NEM, net energy of maintenance, TDN, total digestible nutrients, calcium and phosphorus, and then there will be a few more columns to the right of phosphorus that are your micro minerals. All of these values I'll point out are book values which were uh, determined based on research trials, so taking an average of those numbers um, to give you this book value. We do recommend if you have a forage or feed and you can send a sample of it in uh, to a lab for analysis, those numbers will be more accurate to your scenario. However, if you don't have that opportunity, then these numbers are good references. So we start out the top with the grains, followed by byproduct energy feeds. protein sources, dry roughages, grazed forages, lastly minerals. So again these are all book values that you can use in your feed tabs later on we'll see. So we'll start out with those feed tabs here, um, F1 through F9, that means that we have nine tabs available for you to insert feeds. If you go into the first feed tab, you'll see again white cells are those that you can change and then colored boxes are calculated values based off of your information. If we start at the top, we're going to utilize dry distiller's grains in this case. Um, with about $125 feed cost. That price is based on a 2,000 pounds per unit. It'll be about 93% dry matter, 30% crude protein, and 102% TDN. Those nutrient values uh, with red asterisks beside them were actually pulled from the feed list that we talked about earlier, but if you have values of your own for your feed samples, then utilize those. Feed's going to be transported about 200 miles with a cost of $4.50 per mile, hauling 23 tons per load. Uh, the percentage lost during hauling is about 2%. The cost to store the feed, about $2.50 per ton, with about 5% lost in storage. And again, that can change based on your uh, scenario, how you're storing the feed or hauling the feed. And then finally, the cost to feed is $20 a ton with 7% lost when feeding. So our cost per pound of feed consumed, you'll notice at the bottom at about 11 cents. I'd like to point out the cost um, of the nutrient in the box on the bottom right. So our cost per unit consumed, this is a very important table because it allows us to look at that feed based on a nutrient basis. So how much is actually going into the animal, what you're paying for per pound. So when we want to look at cross feeds, these values looking at the nutrients are the most helpful. So we're looking at our cost per pound of crude protein, cost per pound of TDN, the energy, and then our cost per pound of dry matter. Now let's take a look at our per pound tab. In this tab you're able to evaluate four different feeds. The red boxes at the top are going to be the feed number that are pulled from feed tabs that you entered earlier. Information from those feed tabs is drawn into this Excel tab. So the price per unit, pounds per unit, nutrient values all are pulled into there as well as our calculated cost per pound of nutrient purchased, freight added in, then you have your cost per pound of nutrient delivered, 
add in the storage cost, we have our cost per pound of nutrient fed. And finally, adding in those feeding costs and waste, you have your cost per pound of nutrient consumed for each of the four feeds. In this case, based on a nutrient basis, the crude protein TDN cost per pound is the lowest for our dry distiller's grains. Lastly, I'd like to talk about the whole herd tab. For the whole herd, you can determine the amount of feed needed uh, for each feed ingredient. So if you wanted to compare four feeds and look at their total costs across the herd, uh, you could evaluate and choose the least cost option for you. Uh, take a look at the left hand side, you can see that the uh, red tab boxes are going to be those um, pulling in from other feed tabs. So 1, 4, 3, and 9, those are pulling in from those feed tabs. Uh, feed tab 1 was that distiller's grains. Let's say we wanted to supply about half a pound of crude protein uh, per head per day of dry matter. To do that, we need to feed 2 pounds per head per day as fed uh, for 120 days to 250 cows the amount of feed needed for that period of time is going to be 30 tons um, in order to supply half a pound of crude protein per head per day of dry matter. Now if we take a look at the table on the right you'll notice that those four feeds are written out as well as their costs so if we want to look at the purchase, hauling, storage, and feeding costs for each feed ingredient we can evaluate which feed um, when fed at that 30 tons for that period of time, how much it's going to cost us so we can evaluate what's the least cost option for us to supply that half a pound of crude protein per head per day to the herd. Thank you for listening today. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. And again, on behalf of UNL Extension, I thank you for listening. Have a great day.